Hello everyone, in this video... <laughs> Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take Squarespace's button and funk it up by having it change in colour in a cycle. I couldn't think of a proper name for the effect so we'll call it Squarespace Button Cycle Animation. No, I missed colour out. Squarespace Button Colour Cycle Animation. So before I start, this video will go over how to set up the animation and then a bit later on we'll go over how to change the colours and the timing and also how to target a single button as well. So if we go to our page and then I'm going to add the button. I'm going to set this to small and then you can configure your link here as well but I'm just going to leave this for now. So if we hit apply and then save and then we want to go to our custom CSS. So if we go design, custom CSS. And then we're going to kick this one off with the idea of the button. Now this is a Brian family template and nearly always use Brian's because of the baseline functionality. But I have tested it in other template families as well and it's worked fine. So it should be good to go on yours. But if it isn't, just leave me a comment below saying you um, it doesn't work for me. So we'll go dot sqs hyphen block hyphen button hyphen element hyphen hyphen small couple of curly brackets down the line and then I'm going to go hyphen webkit hyphen animation colon and then I'm going to call this one color rotate color hyphen rotate we're going to put a space I'm going to go 5s now I'll explain this 5s later on in the video but for now we'll just leave it at that so if we do 5s space Linear, space, infinite, space, and then the last one, alternate, semicolon. If we come down the line, I'm going to go animation, colon, and then I'm just going to grab from this color rotate to this final semicolon. Take a copy of that, and then we'll just paste that in there after animation. So next we need to add some keyframes to control the animation. So if we come down a couple of lines outside of those squiggly brackets, I'm going to go at hyphen webkit hyphen keyframes space and then we're going to go color rotate. A couple of curly brackets, we're going to come down a couple of lines because we're going to need some space because we're putting more curly brackets in so we don't want to get them all mixed up. So I'm going to go 0%, another couple of curly brackets, I'm going to go background, colon. Now I'm just going to use a basic red, green and blue for this, but we can change the colors later on. So I'm going to go hashtag FF0000. Okay, so if we just take a copy of this then, bring it down the line, I'm going to paste that one in, I'm going to change the 0 to 50%. And then I'm going to change the background colour. And then again, paste that one in. We're going to change the 0 to 100 on this one. And then again, change the background colour again. And there we go, Bob's your uncle. We've got our colours running through the button. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, we can adjust the speed of this by coming across to our 5S over on this line. So we can change this to whatever value you wanted to make it a lot more subtle. So let's go with 25 on each of these. And then you can see that it's slowed the animation right down. And we can also change the colors as well. So let's go with a red. Let's use this color picker. We'll go with a strongish red, which we've already got it actually at the moment, through an orange. So if we take a copy of that, we'll change this second one. Paste that one in and then we'll go with a sort of baby diarrhea yellow colour. Take a copy of that. Let's cancel that. Paste that in there. 
And there we go, we've got it subtly running through some different colors. So as I say, it's just a case of finding the colors that you want to use for your buttons and then just adjusting them all in this section. Okay, last thing to mention, let's say you've got a couple of buttons on your page, but you'd only want one to have this funk going on. So let's say we just want to target this button to have the effect. We want this one to just be a normal button, the one on the bottom. So I'm going to use Squarespace Block Identifier. As always, link in the description to this. And then I'm going to copy on the block ID. That'll copy it. We just need to shut that down. Come back over to CSS. I'm going to drop this down. Go back up to the top. We're going to paste the block ID in. Space, curly bracket. Now Squarespace puts the closing bracket in, which we don't want. We want to remove that closing bracket. And then we're going to come down to this curly bracket. Let's go down the line from there and we'll put the closing bracket in there instead. And then there we go. You can see that we've targeted just that one to have the effect. So thanks for watching. If you want to read the blog company in this video, then I'll leave a link to that below as well. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up below. If you're not already, please do consider subscribing to see more stuff like this. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. See ya.